All right, let's go. Teaching her what a gun is. I'm gonna teach Evie how to identify what this is. So you appear to be holding a pistol. The sign's open, you're right. Because a knife doesn't resemble anything else. So you appear to be holding the M4 assault rifle. The new Michael Myers movie. <laughs> I'm gonna teach Evie how to identify what this is. I'm gonna teach her what it is and all the implications around it. I want her to be able to identify what this is and then give that information to the police so that they're more equipped and safer in everything they do. Could you imagine if you put this in like a, a police vehicle, they enter the scene, she's scanning the entire time and she says, sir, there's, there's a shotgun in the room or I saw a traces of a, an automatic weapon. As a police officer, I would know to get riot shields, I would be properly prepared to handle this situation. And that's why this is gonna be super important. If you're taken hostage, for example, people need to know, the law enforcement need to know how to save you by knowing what is going on inside the room, inside the bank, inside the, the convenience store, wherever it may be, super, super important. Kids at home, this is done in a safe environment. Do not try what you're gonna see at home. This is under a trained environment. This is under a very controlled environment. We're teaching her how to handle this, okay? We're, I've already loaded a database for her. So we're gonna teach her right now. We're gonna start with this. I gotta get my face out of the way here. <laughs> that was definitely something. It's definitely something. Evie, begin trace. Starting trace. Trace complete. Object pistol. Okay, object pistol. Now, the tricky part about this is going to be having her identify an object with me holding it. There's a hand blocking most of it. That's gonna be the number one problem. So, let's just say I was out here in the world and I was like this. I was just holding it. Evie, identify. So you appear to be holding keys. Keys, okay. That's the problem. That's gonna be the main issue. When it comes to her identifying something, we're gonna have an issue with her and hands. So, we need her to actually give us a best guesstimate. Evie, open a new project. Affirmative, project ready. I'm ready when you are, sir. What will we be doing? I'm gonna teach you what a gun is. Airsoft. Very good, sir. Did you want me to save this on your primary drive? Yes. Evie, set classification of the project to dangerous. Affirmative. Project classification has now been set to dangerous. Restricted access only. Under the assumption rules, it should detect everything, including airsoft gun as a real gun. So if I do this, Evie, detect. Object scanning. So you appear to be holding a pistol. There we go. That is the correct response to what this is. It has to have a it has to have a safety classification because otherwise she would begin to think normal everyday items, remote controls or uh, keys or even this black box here as a weapon because it can't see a majority of it. So classification has to be amped up. So the restriction levels need to be changed every time we're dealing with a different object. Okay. That is the lesson of the day. Now she can identify a pistol. Let's see if she can identify the difference between a pistol and a rifle. Because that would be very, very important. As a police officer, if I saw a pistol, I'm like, okay, low caliber vest, more mobility. If I saw a rifle, I'm like, heavy caliber vest, riot shields. So, in theory, her trace, she should be able to recognize what this is. Airsoft. 
M4 assault rifle. Okay. That's pretty cool. Science requires science attire. <laughs> Evie, identify. Object scanning. So you appear to be holding a pistol. That is not a pistol, girl. Okay, okay. Maybe maybe it's the angle. Let me change the angle. Okay, let's try a different angle real quick. Evie, identify. Object scanning. So you appear to be holding a M4 assault rifle. Ah! Okay. Different angles. Different view of the weapon. Now the problem is, what if it's hidden? Like this. Evie, identify. Object scanning. So you appear to be holding a pistol. Ah! See, I would assume the same thing. As an officer, I would be like, I have no idea if this is a pistol or if this is an assault rifle because you can't see the rest of it. She needs to be able to identify different weapon types and uh, it's just a plastic rubber knife. How does Evie see the world? There's multiple cameras around my office. Evie, trace. Starting now, trace. This is going to be easier for her to understand. Less complicated. Object. Knife. All right. A knife is easy for her to identify because a knife doesn't resemble anything else. This in here, right? Evie, identify. Object scanning. So you appear to be holding a knife. A knife. Very nice. Now, we're actually making use of a system that we developed earlier, which is memory. I'm already showing her a knife. So the first thing she's going to look for when she's searching for something is a knife. Because it's the last thing that she saw, which makes total sense, right? You're not always going to be actively seeing a weapon. Sometimes you're actually going to be seeing a glimpse of a weapon from many different frames. Right? That is the important part. That's what we learned from our last experiment to use memory to our advantage, right? If she sees this thing before and someone hides it, she can actually still identify this even though it's hidden. That's the cool part about this. Watch. Evie, begin search, identify. Object scanning. So you appear to be holding a knife. So, we combine our identify feature with our previously designed search feature with memory and we can identify the last known object that someone was holding. That is the key part. The last time we were searching for medication, now we're using the same system and adding on to it to determine what the last known object is. Pretty cool, right? It's all about building and stacking multiple systems on top of each other, guys. Not one thing is gonna be perfect, but if we build with small, small adjustments, we could do a lot of cool things. The problem with the pistol and the assault rifle is identifying the difference between the two. That is what we need to work on. How do we do this? Oh, you know what we need to try? Speed. No, okay. In movies, bad guys will do this. They'll just stand there. But in real life, I don't think people just stand there. Can she identify a moving object? You know, nothing to it but to try. Evie, begin search and identify. <laughs> so 
Someone's actively stabbing. <laughs> Object scanning. So you appear to be holding a knife. <laughs> okay, so speed isn't an issue. <laughs> speed isn't an issue. For example, what if you throw it? Does that make a difference? I'm not sure. <laughs> the new Michael Myers movie. <laughs> Hello, my name is Kenny, I build robots. Evie, begin search and identify. Object scanning. So you appear to be holding a knife. Ah, see, good girl! <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> Perfect. Now, here's the trick question. She's already been retrained on a remote. Now, you can see, obviously, that these two are very, very similar. So, can she identify if someone's holding a knife or a remote? Big difference. Big difference, right? <laughs> She's already trained this. I've trained this with her a thousand different times. She knows exactly what this is. I want to see what happens if I try to do this by using it as a, as a knife. Oh, that's tricky. Evie, begin search and identify. Object scanning. So you appear to be holding a remote. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I didn't think that would work. <laughs> I didn't think that would work. <laughs> but anyways guys, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you guys had a lovely day. Bye! <laughs> I, I forgot the right message. <laughs>